let's see take um, 355 probably of my introduction um, let's do it now I think that's the best way to do or try it again because um, this will be the first episode and it must be done before uh, I can show you the rest so um, my introduction who am I so my name is Thomas um, I'm uh, 31 years old at the moment uh, and I um, will tell you a bit of my past uh, and why I will be doing what I do at the moment first of all um, excuse me uh, for my English it's basically my second or third language probably my third I trust you. Um, so um, if I do not pronounce uh, pronounce some stuff um, as it should be I'm sorry um, if my sentence build up is not correctly or my grammar is not correctly I'm sorry I do my best uh, that said um, let's try to tell you something about my, about my um, previous life um, previous as in what I did before I um, bought a boat and tried to sail the world so uh, as I was telling I'm Thomas um, having worked in the event network um, industry for the past nine years uh, during this time uh, I was responsible for uh, temporary uh, technical uh, installations and deinstallations uh, from computers, iPads, um, screens, um, LED screens, uh, all kinds of touch screens, all kind of stuff you probably have seen on stands uh, at exhibitions if you ever been to a boat show or something uh, like that. Some of the, uh, those companies will go all out and make like walls from nine, nine meters by five meters big with one big TV screen we built uh, or I did build those screens um, and dismantle it also when the exhibition is over um, I did this um, basically throughout whole Europe um, traveled a lot with my uh, with the company with my colleagues uh, I always like technology and uh, I like to um, fiddle with stuff um, so um, yeah I like those challenges to make stuff work um, and help out a hand um, um, to yeah to make sure the customer is satisfied um, and uh, have a great relationship with most of the time these customers who are coming back and you have like uh, throughout the years you build up a relationship with those customers which was uh, really nice ever since i was young i was fasc fascinated by technology uh, always um, interested interested in how things work um, when i was little um, when i uh, got uh, new stuff um, as maybe more of you uh, you guys ha or girls uh, have been doing um, take a screwdriver take it all apart see how it works why it works um, and try to put it back together throughout the years I I yeah I spent time with a lot of different technologies or uh, different stuff um, let's say so um, I gained experience with different kind of range uh, different range of devices uh, materials technologies including yeah computers uh, photography I did uh, a long time uh, video uh, photography uh, I did uh, also for work to make some videos uh, I did make videos for uh, the YouTube of my old um, old boss uh, I like that a lot uh, we also had a crossover with uh, a fee market so uh, video studios a lot of my um, semi colleagues are working in the in the video industry let's say learned a lot from them um, always ask a lot of questions about why things work not as uh, how it works but if you know why it works you know how it works and the why is more important for me or not more important but more fascinating 
I did also did like um, with the little scooters with my cars I did engines uh, I built my own batteries from uh, lithium batteries with uh, 18650 cells with an old uh, electric scooter I bought for cheap with a broken battery I did know how it worked only want to experience how to build a battery that's basically it so bought a spot weld uh, device um, bought new cells bought everything together um, and on a proper way I learned how to build batteries and learned a lot from uh, from those also uh, electricity um, doing electricity work uh, woodwork metal work uh, stuff like that um, will not say I'm an expert in any of those fields but did it enough to experience it and gain knowledge. So uh, four years ago, uh, I pur purchased a fixer upper in Hilversum. Uh, it's my hometown um, uh, that I renovated and refurbished with my father and then girlfriend. Uh, during the Corona pandemic, uh, my re relationship uh, sadly uh, fell apart. Uh, and I began, uh, began to consider uh, what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, then I remembered my old dream of sailing around, uh, around the world. Um, and I was inspired by uh, various YouTube channels. Then, uh, yeah, my parents always had uh, had a boat. We often go, uh, go on vacations and I also participated in a sailing camp in my youth and discovered the freedom of uh, the, the freedom and peace on the water uh, which i really liked uh, i learned how to sail and developed a love for water i think the people how lovely everyone is on the water how they how everyone tries to help each other um, it's really most most of the people not everyone uh, is relaxed um, and just cruise around, around uh, city by city almost like uh, um, a cruiser would do only for like six weeks in vacation in summer vacation and I was thinking yeah what to do um, I have I made my uh, my home which was great I, uh, I loved it but yeah sitting there alone it was maybe a bit too big I had a, a big shed which was enable to put a car in so did a lot of things i uh, broke down all the walls inside the old roof on the um, on the shed was 110 years old and was basically falling apart uh, especially the structure or structural parts i completely redid the roof uh, with the tiles with everything uh, laid solar panels on top of it insulated it uh, made it basically like the biggest man of the, or my perfect man cave underneath you could put in a car a workbench everything i needed uh, even the part of the old kitchen that came out of the house uh, i recycled and made sure it it, it was in in the shed so uh, there was water in uh, yeah a fridge of course with some beer and on top uh, on the first level i made uh, insulated it all and made a, a man cave put a put a couch in uh, a tv and a playstation if i still was living there it would have been a great man cave so i um, started to make a list um, as i usually do first first thing of everything start with excel um, make lists what to do what do i want is it possible because i always think before you do something you need to calculate the, uh, stuff to make sure it's not um impossible you know you cannot like build a house with only thousand euro of, of in your bank account it will cost a lot same with the boat and my first list was like the 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 pros were I think five or six items but the cons were like 20 25 in like the first hour of riding it I had those list in my pocket for a few weeks and when I have some spare time I was looking at the list and thinking about solutions because that is what I learned to do a lot of those things with time and effort I could overcome those cons 
So I become ticking off items of my list and saw that with good preparations, um, with good preparation, most of those uh, points could have uh, I could overcome. But the energy I got from those preparations um, made me more and more enthusiastic about it. Um, when I obtained my boating certificates or boat license, uh, my Maricom, uh, Maricom B, let's say VHF plus, um, and offshore first aid, then I knew it for sure. This was my chance. Um, it was like I rolled a couple of dices and they all come, uh, they all ro uh, rolled, uh, co they all came up with nine, uh, with sixes. I had the opportunity to sell my house quickly. And with the proceeds, I could buy a sailing boat uh, and some spare cash uh, for the first time. So uh, basically, so I put my plan into action, sold my house. Um, and after all those time um, I was in preparation, I of course spent some time looking for boats, um, seeing boats, finding boats that were for sale. I did look at a lot of monohulls and one time I was looking at a few monohulls with my dad um, and there was also um, a catamaran for sale there. It was out of my price range, but the seller um, or the broker basically uh, was saying, yeah, you can, you can see inside if you want. So we stepped inside and the first thing I noticed is the headroom. It was like enough almost everywhere um, and that particularly boat was a Lagoon ter, uh, 380 I think I believe um, and it had like 20 centimeters to spare on top of my head uh, which made me realize that a catamaran even I uh, I already did research about catamarans and there were for the cruising a lot of sailing channels are switching to catamarans but it was basically out of my budget but then three weeks before the transfer of my house which was basically three weeks too early for me uh, but three weeks i could overcome because yeah after the transfer then you get paid uh, uh, the money of course not before and i didn't want to get a loan for a boat i want to have everything owned by me um, I had a chance for that with the whole situation um, and I didn't want to take loans on, on boats. It makes things complicated and, and stuff like that. But uh, three weeks before uh, the transfer of my house, uh, a well-equipped Kroninger Design uh, Jaguar 36 came, uh, came for sale. And it was also located in the Netherlands because I also did look to go to Croatia to see uh, uh, um, more catamarans in my price range, all charter ones, which need a lot of work to make sure that's to make sure you can make it a cruiser one and stuff like that. But this one was in the Netherlands where I live. I saw it pop up on uh, Facebook of all places, and I think uh, the ad was like online for ten minutes when I saw it, and I know um, I did know how the market was at the moment on uh, the last part of the, of the corona crisis it was uh, really heated so I didn't take any chance direct message from I want to look as soon as possible see the boat I think it's perfect for me and I think I did really well um, still uh, one of the better boats I seen across um, here in the Netherlands or catamarans for sale and also in my price range because I cannot spend half million pounds or uh, euros on, on boats. That's not. Um, I'm not rich as that. I uh, got some change from uh, from my house, but um, most of it went uh, went in this boat. So I did buy the boat from um, Stefan. Great guy. Really did uh, take care of the boat, um, and you can see it's um, didn't spare any expense on on stuff everything you see on the boat every every panel i take out um it's like um the equipment used uh are the uh, um yeah all the pumps all the stuff that that, that i come across are uh, was done right i think he bought uh, wanted a bigger uh, catamaran this one is an owner's version uh, with uh, three birds and he wanted an fourth bird um 
yeah uh, so he um, sold this one um, to me just two weeks after I bought the boat and brought it to um, the temporary harbor I was um, um, yeah docking it um, to make sure to prepare the boat for my yeah my trip uh, my mother became very ill um, of course I proponed the trip uh, and helped and cared for my mother during these difficult times um, sadly um, I don't want to go uh, really deep into this but she uh, got uh, um, the message from the doctor that she basically is terminally ill of course everything you you will drop um, I don't care anymore about anything um, and um, yeah just spend time uh, with your mother so uh, that's what I did so I postponed everything all the projects uh, everything I did uh, um, to spend time with my mother that's why um, I have some yeah some footage that I started to make for this channel but it was last year um, we were laying in the other harbor um, the, the stuff was different um, I'm not sure if I use some of this footage maybe you will see it in between um, but that's why um, I also did most of those things in Dutch instead of English um, but I uh, thought fuck it when we we'll do it again we try to do it in English as good as possible hope you guys don't mind my uh, my bad English initially I intended to start a video on a YouTube channel basically for family friends um, to keep them updated on my travels um, but this plan um, escalated as I realized uh, that this concept was a bit more unique uh, a lot of boating channels a lot of things but most of them are with children or with uh, couples stuff like that um, I know a few who do it the way I uh, want to do it um, but I think it's uh, more unique um, so um, maybe um, the stuff I'm doing are interesting for a lot of um, br broader audience so that's why the reason I do it in English uh, now this whole flogging I hate the term flogging but um, this whole um, video diary let's uh, let's call it sounds nicer um, it's new to me um, I never have been in front of the camera always have been uh, on the back um, behind the camera um, so yeah did like this take as you're probably seeing now is like take at least 50 at least because I really not like seeing myself on camera or on, on the video um, but I think I need to get over it just by doing it so uh, tr I try to do a lot of takes to see what I'm grinching about to see myself and try to improve it um, and probably you will uh, we uh, I will improve um, as we go on this channel even if I do this alone um, I will never be alone I hope because I um, also wanted a bigger boat for um, make it more comfortable for myself make it basically like a floating apartment um, but also have space for friends family uh, people who like to um, join me um, to go with me on this adventure because sailing I'm not a, really a solar sailing I like to sail this boat solo um, here on the IJsselmeer and the Markermeer did it a lot um, it's quite easy to single hand sailing with this boat it's set up for it so um, but of course interaction with people is way nicer so that's my plan to um, I'm officially in my own but I will not be alone I have friends family yeah uh, maybe one of you guys um, if you are seeing this and think I like to join um, message message me maybe you guys can join me also so um, but first of all let's start a YouTube channel follow like subscribe comment um, do what you want um, 
I think it's free. It helps me. I think I'm not sure. I'm new to this. Um, let's find out. Till the next video. Thank you.